Welcome back. I skipped the studio logos because they were 2003 studio logos, which means way too long and way too uh, involved and way too stupid. So this is Enclave. <laughs> this game's been in my library for... It's another one of those games that's been in my library for a long time, but I still haven't played it. So <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing again this week. We're playing a game I haven't played before, but I've been meaning to get around to. Just... Always what these, always what these are, are there's two separate campaigns, so there's, there's choices. Well, let's go with the dark campaign for the fun, then. Can I, I'm not allowed to pick the dark campaign. You have to play the light campaign before you're allowed to play the dark campaign. Not sure who made that choice, but I think it's a stupid one. Unless, unless the dark campaign relies on the light campaign for you to know. I don't know. Mechalon is the story of how the rift was formed. Though most cannot recall a time when the rift did not divide the Enclave and the Outlands, they were at one time unified. At that time, there were lands where the very essence of magic was believed to dwell. This is Tales of Symphonia now? <laughs> you started the magic world in Tales of Symphonia, then you moved to the technology, te technology world. <laughs> The great demon Vatar was among these envious creatures, for he believed. Is that me? Do I get to be that guy? <laughs> I want to be that guy. Yeah, invincible. That sounds good. Led his army to attack the dwellers of the land and lay claim to it for himself. The pot makes it look like it said Kim self. <laughs> stood alone against Vatar to protect the lands. When all hope seemed lost and Vatar's victory imminent, Zael struck the final fatal blow. What? I thought I was going to get to be Vatar. <laughs> the world trembled. Oh, this, is the, this is how the world got split into like Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> That's the story of the story of how this game became Tales of Symphonia or something. I think it was the same year. I didn't look up when exactly this game came out. And I didn't definitely didn't look up exactly when Tales of Symphonia came out. I'm pretty sure they both came out in 2003. And the people were separated as much as the lands. But it also doesn't sound like they're separate realms. It sounds like it's just the world. It sounds like there's just like a ocean. It doesn't. So far, it sounds. But, but it said magic only exists in one little lance. The bad guy's lance. Because he's the magician. He's a. They, she called him a wizard. He's also a demon. <laughs> Was that a metaphorical demon? You're giving me way too much lore up front. I don't care about your fucking lore before I've started the fucking game. <laughs> they knew better back then. Don't give me any excuses about that. They knew better back then. Don't give me five minutes of lore before I've started playing your fucking game. I care about your characters before I care about your world. <laughs> the sound you are hearing is the sound of your death. Okay. The rolling thunder of my fellow outlanders. The sound of the dragon. Like, you can't give me a history lesson on your fucking world when I haven't given, been given any fucking reason to give a shit about it. I don't care about anything that's going on in this world yet because I haven't fucking experienced it. Give me the world, then give me the fucking history lesson later. But preferably optional. It's a book somewhere where I can read it. <laughs> Other than that, give me the cliff notes. This world has etc. and whatever. <laughs> this this game is running like shit. <laughs> is it, okay, there we go. It's better now. I just downloaded a controller configuration. They didn't put gyro on, so this feels like shit. I'll, uh, let me fix that. <laughs> let me fix that real quick. Let me add gyro. <laughs> let me add gy Hey! Hey! What are you doing? What? Are, stop that. <laughs> God damn it. Hold on. Give me a second. This game doesn't have- I know it doesn't fucking have controller support! I don't fucking- I'm using a controller! I know it doesn't fucking have controller support! God damn it! <laughs> Alright, well, I'll- I'll add gyro next week. What was that? <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. What did that do? <laughs> 
I went out of my way to enable Steam input and everything <laughs> yesterday. When I, when I went through and modified somebody else's controls, I just didn't notice. It said gyro. <laughs> it says gyro at the bottom, but I guess... Whatever. <laughs> Needed, I needed to add that because move it, moving the camera with just the trackpad feels bad. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> a torch is necessary in this. Uh oh. <laughs> I felt like I got stuck for a second. Okay, there's something over here. Nothing. It's just they they wanted me to shine. They wanted to shine a light on this corpse for me. All right. <laughs> 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 the combat doesn't feel good. If this is the stance of the combat, it doesn't feel good. It's passable. If 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 every it seems like everything you like is good. So, all right, we got a torch. How do we pull? There we go. <laughs> it's probably gonna tell me when I get to the sewer. But hey, stop dropping things on me. I'm trying to try to walk here. Can I open this door? No. Well, let me open that door. Okay. I already done it. Thank you. Do I fight rats? Do I fight rats? No. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't feel great. Is there anything else down here? I guess this is tutorial, so they're not gonna put anything down the path. It's not just like, oh look, it's, oops. Spooky body. <laughs> All right, don't, don't turn your camera around when you're on the. Are you a bad guy? Okay, you just stood there for. <laughs> hey. Rude. Okay, what's- oh, this is where I was. <laughs> Why would- okay, whatever. <laughs> Go this way. Don't fall down the hole. Hey, get back here. Get back here. Stop running for me. <laughs> and the buddy that you- <laughs> the buddy that you were trying to lead me to got crushed by rubble. How does that feel? Stupid. Stupid idiot. <laughs> Is there anything in these barrels? Can't even break them. <laughs> Can't even break these barrels. <laughs> That's a you're you're. I'm docking a point for that. <laughs> Unbreakable barrels. <laughs> Honestly, the 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 maybe it's just because they're short. The attacks don't feel like they're connecting that great either. <laughs> I don't need health potions <laughs> right now, but thank you. Oh, now I do because the fucking barrel hit me. Okay. Oh god! Okay, fine. I'll drink a health potion. <laughs> okay, it takes about a minute and a half to drink a health potion. Noted. I'll be, I'll be sure. I'll be sure to drink the health potion when I'm not in the encounter next time. <laughs> you have to, like, really swing down at these guys. Hopefully I'll be fighting... Human-sized enemies later. Some more human-sized enemies later. Because <laughs> this looking down to fight, it's not great. <laughs> not ideal. <laughs> okay. Where are we supposed to go now? Then in one of these. Then in one of these. How about in one of these? Can't break windows, can't break barrels. <laughs> they really went not, not, uh, the, the opposite of all out. No out. <laughs> they went no out. They, they pulled out none of the stops on this one. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got a key. Can we mutilate bodies? <laughs> they don't let you break barrels. They're not going to let you mutilate bodies. <laughs> They don't let you break windows, they're not gonna let you mutilate bodies, that's for sure. Where's this key go to? 
Did, it, did that was that door open before? <laughs> did obtaining the ski just automatically open the door? Let's see. No, this is all right. Are you a bad guy? No. Ah, uh, another brave warrior. Yeah, uh, you can call it that. I don't trust you. Keep your keep your distance. <laughs> Uh, don't stand behind- oh. That was the end of the level. New item. Worth 50 gold. Is that just this- okay, yeah. <laughs> this is the sword I was using. Uh, yeah, okay. One, imprison. Two, protect the outpost. Okay. Defeat the Outlanders. Defeat Borge. Who's Borge? Tell me who Borge is, woman. <laughs> it said it in my journal. <laughs> I look like my face is, is sliced off. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for that, developers. That was super necessary. Hey, I could use your help here. Uh, you can't. There's no friendly fire. <laughs> What's this? Do I have arrows? Ah. Okay. Not not ideal. <laughs> Crossbow sucks. <laughs> Good work. Now we must save the outpost. What outpost? I don't know why I'm here. I don't know how I got here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Can I use this? Or can? Sort of. <laughs> oh, we're trying to... Understood. This isn't for combat. It's for puzzles. <laughs> and they, they want to make very clear you're not to use this cannon for combat. <laughs> What's that noise? Why does it sound explosives? All right. <laughs> oh, they're throwing those. <laughs> hey. Store. You're standing there like you want to go there. Okay. I'm going to go this way then. Money. I'll take that. I really wish these boxes and barrels were destructible because they're in the way all the time. <laughs> I found first person mode. It feels a little better. <laughs> I mean, it's not even. It's, well, I guess it is fully first person, but they made your they made your weapon and uh, you can. They made your weapon and a shield. They made your weapon and items transparent. It's weird. It's awkward. You can't destroy this, so you have to jump over it. <laughs> hey! Don't wear it off. <laughs> Sounds like there's another good guy here. Hi. Get out of my way. Where's the lady at? Did I leave her? <laughs> I left her behind. Go the other way. Apparently, this is just one big circle. I thought it would be. Let's go get the lady. Oh, this is locked. All right, you've got that taken care of. I'll go find. I'll go find my other teammate. I had. <laughs> you could. You could handle that. I'm sure. Can I only carry a hundred gold? Is that what that says? Sixty out of a hundred. Does that mean? Is it- is that you? Hi. What are you just standing here for? It looks like you cleared out this area, good job. <laughs> These are worth five gold apiece. Health potion. 
No, this was a dead end. <laughs> it's a dead end that she just wanted to come down for some reason. Okay, there is fall damage. Doesn't seem like it's too much, but I should also not go making big leaps <laughs> off things. Okay, can you follow me now? Good. This way. Ooh, there was a guy here. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> can you follow me? Okay. <laughs> Oh, how f how far ahead do I have to get before she's just stuck? Is it a door closed? Hey, what happened to the other guy? He a he dead or something? <laughs> did you kill him? Or did he just ignore you? Hey, stop stop shooting me! Huh? I guess that other guy must have died or something. <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> Throwing stuff. Rude. How come they can throw crates, but I can't break them? <laughs> so you've got- they're not just- they're not just static objects. That- that, uh, part- are part of the level design. They can move. Which means it was just a little bit more for them to be destructible. <laughs> 95. What happened to the lady that was following me? Where'd she go? <laughs> Did she get stuck on some stairs? Uh, well, they introduced NPC companions early on, but I guess they wanted to communicate that you should just ignore them entirely. <laughs> Cause they'll just disappear. They'll just disappear if you want. <laughs> I'm still not sure if that corpse I passed and when I fought the last guy was the guy at... Alright. What's this? Well, how am I seeing what's happening up here? How am I seeing this? <laughs> you opened a door. Alright. Lots of doors opening. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, they trapped me in here. Oh, and that's the key. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Hey, where are we going now? <laughs> Which way are we going now? I can't go up that ladder, so I've obviously got to go to that door that, op that they opened. Where would that be? I hear fighting. <laughs> There's fighting happening around here. Just go back to the bottom, I guess. <laughs> it, it, the combat is really just wave your wave your stick about, <laughs> wave your stick about, and do whatever. It's a lot easier in first person. In third person, it's, it's not as easy. <laughs> At least against. Shorter enemies that are shorter. Oh, it's you. What are you doing back here? <laughs> oh, is that a door that I opened and then it closed behind me and she couldn't get through it? Oh, hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I'm assume I'm gonna assume that guy I met died. <laughs> What's this all about? Catapults? You got catapults? They, their, uh, their health really increased all of a sudden. <laughs> the crossbow will probably suck less when I get the gyro wearing <laughs> When I get the gyro turned on. Oops. <laughs> Good thing there's no friendly fire, right? Oops, okay. There is fire damage. <laughs> the AI also sucks. <laughs> the AI also is not good. Great, <laughs> good. 
You've got fire... fire arrows? <laughs> Don't shoot those at close range. Hey. They were exploding a minute ago. There. Uh, well, I guess... I guess the lady's dead. Let's drink our... let's drink our potion. You killed my uh, companion. I'm bad. <laughs> All right, good. What's this? Oh, <laughs> mission completed. Uh, Anticlimactic. All right, I'll keep playing this next week. So see you then. <laughs>